Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And uh, so I'm back with a couple of uh, new products, and I actually picked up um, some more from some product lines that I'm really liking this fall. So that's sort of what today is about. I really liked a couple of products, and I went back for more, and that says quite a lot because there's quite a lot out there right now. So to go ahead and start off uh, with what I have on, I did go ahead on, and I mixed three products together. So I started with the Tinted Hydrator by Wet n Wild. I have mine in light, and uh, this has a whole bunch of squalane and hyaluronic acid in it. It's really good. And then I mixed a little bit of the L'Oreal Lumi Lotion to or Glow Lotion to go along with that, and some of the Milani um, Bronzing Drops in 110. So I have all three of these on as far as my base today. And um, as far as what I went ahead and added to that was the Pretty Fresh Concealer, and I have mine in N10, and there we go. It'll dry out if you don't close it. Yeah. <clears throat> Basics 101 there. Just listen to my own advice more. Huh? Okay, so as far as what I went ahead and did for the cheeks, started with the Sunrise Bronzer uh, by Flower Beauty. And so this one leans, um, gives you more of a mauve, rosy kind of base to it. And then I went ahead and added this one, which is Barrel of Scares. And so this one is from Wet n Wild. And they brought out a Nightmare Before Christmas collection. And so these ones, there are three of them, and they're all going to be chicken lip colors. And I went ahead and I picked up these two when I originally got the eyeshadow palette and really liked the formula. So I went ahead and uh, picked up the last one, which is really, really dark plum. I mean, it's one of the darkest shades that I've ever seen. I have it on as far as uh, my blush, and I have it on as far as my lip color today. So, and then as far as the lip color goes, I did add the Meta Glow by Essence as well. And then as far as using this as a blush, this is how it turned out as a blush. And I do have some of the Moira, uh, let's see, Foxy Pink on here as far as um, the actual highlighter. So, used this in both ways that it can be used today. And I'm really liking this formula. It is matte. You do have to blend because if you don't blend, I could see where it would go this color. I could see where it would go patchy if you didn't blend. If you blend, it's going to be fine. But um, you might want to actually blend with fingers or a sponge because some brushes I don't think would do this formula that well. And um, it will work, but again, um, I end up blending with my fingers. As you can see, they're stained here and there. Um, but this is the only color that I would say that you could have a patchy problem with. Uh, the other two are on the lighter side, and so I didn't have any problem with them as far as um, going ahead and blending. But this one is dark enough that if you don't make sure you get it blended, it could look patchy for you. So just do an extra blend more with this one. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, so what else did I do? Um, I did go ahead and use the Sungasm by Catrice for my finishing powder today. And also the Essence Make Me Brow. And I have mine in uh, dark brown or in regular brown. There's also a light color and um, so I did pick up both of these but today I went ahead and used the regular brown color instead of the uh, light ash brown. 
And um, then I did go ahead and use the panorama, and this is the L'Oreal as far as uh, going ahead and using the mascara. Mixed in a little bit of the Essence uh, Volume Stylist 18 Hour Wear, so I actually mixed both of these. And then um, as far as getting back to the fact that all of these are products from collections that I really liked and that I went back and got more of. So um, with the Wet n Wild, uh, these lip and cheek colors, I went back and I got the plum one because I really enjoyed these ones. I also got a little bit more from that collection. and. Um, Actually, this is a different one. I take it back. This is a NYX, and this is from the Beetlejuice collection, and it has black eyeliner on one side, and there's your black eyeliner, and then it also has an eyeliner on this side, which is actually going to be a sparkly shimmer one. This one that I got is in the green, so that's what I have on as far as my eyeliner. I did go ahead and use a regular matte gel eyeliner. This one is from Handy On um, in the waterline itself. So I have both of these on today. And again, I really liked uh, the NYX Beetle Juice Collection, so I went back and got more. So it tells you that they may not be coming out or coming out with a ton of stuff uh, for Halloween, but uh, what they're coming out with is pretty good. And then this one is actually the Revolution, the Enchanted Icon. And I had gone ahead and picked up the other one, which is the True Icon. This may be an inspired, the top one, the True Icon, inspired palette uh, from Patrick Ta. And uh, what he did as far as his eyeshadow palette. And so this one does have the cream on here. And uh, there's a little cover. It's a piece of plastic that goes over there. And so I really liked this one. So I went back and picked up this one. And these you can go ahead and get over at Ulta on the Revolution website. And I think, I'm not sure where else that you can actually pick these up and maybe Target. Um, but like I said, I'm not sure about that. Um, but I know that you can pick these up on Alta or the Revolution website. And it's a brand new palette to me. I'm liking it quite a lot. I did go ahead and use this in the crease, this in the outer corner. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then as far as what I did, um, that's going to be on the inner corner from here to here. I went ahead and used this shade. This is a special shade. It's definitely a duo chrome, and it definitely uh, goes pink to gold. And so I had this all over the lid. It's what's given all the shimmer out there. Um, I did go ahead and put a little bit of this right on the very middle of the lid. But like I said, most everything you're going to see is going to be this duochrome over here, which is really, really pretty. And I think they have four different palettes in this collection. So there are a whole bunch of, there's Smoky and another one. And like I said, I just picked these two up. They run about $12 a piece. Uh, what, and the reason why I went ahead and picked these up in the first place was because um, I had heard a couple of viewers saying that they thought that the formulas were different. And with these, um, I would definitely say that the shimmer formulas are different. They have a lot of sparkle. They have a um, whole bunch of glitter without having a lot of the micro glitter in there. And some duochromes like this is a really pretty duochrome. This way that it looks here. And so this is a duochrome that will really pick up and add a lot of glam into the look. Um, it's just 
really pretty formulas and different from the regular formulas. So I'll be back in a moment with a couple of swatches for you. The Enchanted uh, Icon Palette by Revolution. And here are some swatches of it. So this is the way that the palette looks. Uh, these two shades up here at the top um, are actually the cream shadows and so um, with me I would probably go ahead and use these for base. I didn't use them today. Um, a base or either a one and done look with a little bit of shimmer on it, um, a base for um, you know a different kind of look. Um, I know that other people go ahead and use these as far as eyeliners and that kind of thing as well. So uh, with these particular creams they actually have a little it's a piece of plastic that has some stickiness on the back and so um, you just peel off the plastic and then you put it back on once you're done using the cream so that they don't get the powder in them. And again, really pretty palette, different formula. We're all wondering whether Revolution is now using the BH Cosmetics formula. They did go ahead and purchase BH Cosmetics, which was a really popular U.S. makeup company. And so we're wondering if now they're starting to use some of their shimmer formulas because everybody really loved those formulas. And um, also, Let's see, I didn't think I mentioned this one, and this one, it's actually not, um, you could use it as an eyeliner, but it's still an eyeshadow, so you don't, it's not water activated or anything. It has a deeper purple and a lighter purple in here, so that's kind of fun as well. Um, and I think I did use a little bit of this on the outer lid as well. And so, oh, and there's a shimmer down here. Uh, with this shimmer, and I don't think I mentioned it. I used it right under the brow. So, um, yeah, just to go through it again, uh, this on the crease, this on the outer corner, a little bit of this on the outer corner, a um, little bit of this one right under here. Uh, this one I went ahead and used from here to here. Most of what you're going to see in all the duochrome is probably going to be this shade over here. And again, it's duochrome and pink to gold yeah may have a little bit of orange in there as well but really pretty duochrome and um so yeah that's all that i went ahead and used and again really good new palette twelve dollars over at alta you can get it on the revolution website as well uh they may be over at target or target i'm not sure um, these ones from Wet n Wild, the combination lip and cheek colors, really liking. Like I said, I went back and got the third one because these ones worked out so well. Really nice packaging, glass bottles with the characters, you know, on there. So really fun, wanting to pick up these a lot. Uh, the eyeliner, the duo ended eyeliner from uh, the Beetlejuice NYX collection, really good as well. So I found some good collections and I just went back and added, um, bought more from these collections, which tells you that they're good, right? So um, again, liking a lot of the stuff that I found like lately and um, I think that's a whole video and I'll see you later and I hope that you have a great day. Bye.